Hello, fellow witches. We're going into the witch wood. Out there in the woods. Where's all my woodsy witches at? We're going into the woods. Who wants to make a potion? Who wants to make a... Do a curse? Oh, I love a curse. Who wants to take a little stick simulacrum of your least favorite person mm -hmm. and do a curse on it? Oh, here's Olive. Olive's here. Olive, ready to be a witch. We got cats. Witches love cats. Let us turn some children into frogs. A jinx and a hex. Exactly, Allegretto. Witches love those things. Who wants to look upon the stars and read the futures, the Can possible I futures? help you, kitty cat? I just want to say Julia came out in this outfit and immediately I was like, Julia, I know you've been reading Chainsaw Man. Uh-huh. And you've been inspired by the the devil hunting uh, agency in uh, Chainsaw public Man. Public safety. The public safety agency. Yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. She's out here ready to make a pact with a devil to oh, gain let's power. Do it. Let's do it. How's everybody doing tonight? I already saw Nathan raided us. Thank you, Nathan, Thank for you, the Nathan. raid. Do not rip up these pants, girl. I love these pants. You can rip up these pants. Oh, they already got holes in them. Come here. Come here. <laughs> wow, she's doing it. Yeah. Well, she gets excited when people are excited about her. I didn't her. think she was going to respond so nicely. No, Joy ignores us when we're excited about her. Olive gets excited when we're excited. Yeah. Oh, that's a good cat. You can say miss in a really long tone and she goes she whips her head around she loves it it's cute every time what a good cat she's a perfect cat um i'm gonna read some subs yeah because we're started a little late yeah olive is sitting in my lap thank you olive for joining <laughs> me get all your head shakes that you need to do what's going on you got oh, a little ear thing God. going on look at this cat Look at this cat. Oh goodness. She's got all her paws on. Look at this cat. Oh, she's oh, trying to roll. She's oh, trying my to roll. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, someone's watching one of the recipes from my mom's site. Thank nice. you. That means a lot. We're trying to get my mom to do this full time so that she can quit her job maybe eventually. Yes. Her job is unhealthy for her. Mm-hmm. And so go she's to her website. She's a teacher with a very long commute. My mom's not old, but she's getting to an age where, you know, COVID, COVID scaring me with you, her. You know how teachers are treated yeah. in this, in this of all countries. And she does so much. And, you know, I would like for her to have the reward of doing less. Yes. Ideally. So everyone, please check out her site, Good Enough Kitchen. Yep, or mods, mods were posting it. Yes. Thanks, everybody. She's truly a, a wonderful human being. So she's she's the everyone's mom. She's the mom of my friends who wanted a different mom. <laughs> um, she's great. So I'm going to read subs. Read subs. We got subs from Sax Rindell, Deep Spaces, Most Deep Bounty Hunter. Kate Dice, Revocador, Spicy Batch, Dapper Alicia, Read Marks, Damn It, Roosh, Jenna Hello, Bay Darius, Miranda Grace gave out five subs, Ashley Maria gave out two subs, Dr. Landshark, Inkara 1010, Moody Blues, Guns and Blazes, The Orange Witch, Seismic Coin, RX Bonanza, That One Gay Chemist, PL Pete 12, Crazed Red, Not Really Canada, Wrist Plays Games, Chlorophyll My Cup, Bunny Pirates, Sugar Fen, Crazed Red Again, Lil Crudster, Ali Aces, Mo Varga, Rocket Brain Engineers, Sezaku, Jeffrey P, Smidgidopolis, Smidge, Smidgidopolis, Smidgidopolis, Monster Queer, Zed Drifter, Coffee Vamp, Anxious Aussie gave out five subs. Thank you so much. Arland Louvre gave out 10 subs. Arland, you watch yourself. We're watching you. Thank you, Arland. Withered Primordial gave out a sub. Cat Hut. Puppy Pwabs gave out five subs. You know, Puppy Pwabs has got to be one of the most consistent 
oh, absolutely. five sub gifters. Yes. I've ever known. Puppy Pobs is like just, you know, quietly drop in, you know, five every time. Oh, they broke your mom's website. Yeah, I'm texting her now to tell her so she doesn't worry. But thank you, everyone. That's wonderful. Uh, Hannah Banana Cabana, Anxious Aussie, gave out five more subs. Thank you so much. Augie T and the FBG gave out two subs. Smexy Cheese, Mo Varga, Bold Street, Me K Lau, More Art Than Time, Catherine Oakenshield, Ifer Zeeg, Mime Town gave out 10 subs. Thank you, Mime Town. Heck and Crime gave out five subs. Thank you so much. Piss Pants, Aquatic Aristocrat, Sepius, Lord Pancakes 14, Pig Flight, Electric Arcana gave out five subs. Dangerous Person gave out five subs. Romlig 9 subscribed. Nerevar 1011. I am Beth F. Sir Bear Librarian. Halcyon Marin. Hollow Love. And Arland Louvre gave out 10 more subs. Arland. Arland. And Mad Dr. Dan subscribed. Thank you all so much. I also want you to know this is a message from my mother. My mom said that anytime, any, anytime anyone makes her recipes, and sends her a picture of it, she sends me a text to let me know how excited she is about it. She's excited every single time. She's just like so proud of people. Because they're doing. Yeah, she's so proud of people and she's also proud of herself that she made a recipe that is accessible enough that people are making it. Yeah. And send it to her. Yeah. So thank you, a, a sincere thank you from me. Because it's giving my mom a really a really big boost this year. We also got five subs from the Elegant Raven and five subs from that one gay chemist. Thank and you. five subs from Wolf B fourteen forty seven. And then Arland gifted Just... a mysterious single sub <laughs> to Duncan Bix King of Tricks, which seems targeted. And then Horse Key. That feels like a snipe. Uh, thank you all so much. We're gonna get into the the video game. Let's get into the video game. And Olive will maybe decide where she wants to go. Oh, she's leaving. Goodbye, Miss Olive. Which is down. So what are we playing today? Today we're playing Witchwood. What's it, what, what is it? So I've heard that it's like a, a story crafting adventure game. And it's got a beautiful art style. You can, I'm not gonna turn off the no backseating. <laughs> you can backseat if you want to. I don't know what you would even backseat. Uh, let me check the settings first. Graphics, we gotta max them out. Quality, okay, high is as high as it goes. No ultra, no ultimate. Mm. Uh, I gotta fix this. Did it come back on? Go away, no backseating. I don't want you. Let there people you backseat. Uh, so we're going to get into it. I'm excited. I've been looking at this one. I'm excited to check it out. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch. Oh, I didn't turn the speakers on. Jake. Freaking throw me out to, to fire, to the fire, into the fire. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. That's pretty good, actually. You kind of predicted the noise. I did. Who's there? Let's get up. Fight this goat. Already. Just, I love the design of this witch. With the pot on her head and the little bird feet. It's perfect. Oh, I'm, I'm obsessed with the bird feet. And like the cloak that's kind of wingy. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's interact with the goat. You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? <laughs> shoo, shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. That's right. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Where's my dang grimoire? Who's been hiding grandma's grimoire? My grimoire. Oh, hey. Oh, I bet this is it. Aha, here it is. Hmm, it's lighter than I recall. 
Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing Y. Why? Nice. I can craft a mending poultice. A speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains. Love a speckled herbal paste, personally. We love to see it. We love to see it. Oh, my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm going to go confront the beast. I must have left it in the, in the trunk over there. My braided belt. Got some imp eye nut. <laughs> Got that imp eye nut. Some reedy twine. Some seeker vine. No, it's TikTok now. Nice. Nice. Oh, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Let's make a mending poultice. Oh, I don't have the ingredients for a mending poultice. There's mushy rooms you can pick up over there. Oh, uh -huh. hag shroom, you mean? And there's some herbs to the to the right as well. Got some herbs, some forest herb. That good forest herb. That's all I needed. Let's go. That's a good noise. <laughs> I crafted mending poultice. Use the mending poultice. I'll I'm be back. I'm mended. Oh, look at the, the all the paintings on the wall. There's one in the back right corner. Do you think that's us? Which one? The back right corner. Oh, over here. Oh, that does look like me and you. Oh, that's, it's us. That's me right there. Yeah. And that's you right there. Yeah. I mean, that's us. I don't know what else to that's, tell you. That's pretty us. That's that's so us. To the outside. Take me to the outside. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashes to good use on this lawn. Open my map and get a better look at my surroundings. That ain't it. Inside the hut wow. sounds like a documentary about Pizza Hut. What a good look at my surroundings. Oh, he's over there. I like that joke, by the way. Thank you. I can tell by how you laughed at it. Well, I was really, it was more of a, a thinker, you know? I was really yeah. thinking about it. Oh, there's, there's shinies to the south here. Some shears. I don't oh, have any shears. shears. We need edge shears. We need edge shears. And I can get some seeker vine though. What's this treasure? No. What's barfin over there? That statue's just barfin. Oh, it's a. It's got a, a vase. It's a fountain. Somewhere. It's a fountain in it. Get some hag shroom. What's up, goat? Julia, please. <laughs> Is that all you've got to say for yourself? <laughs> the goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah, oh, yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Apologies. It's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck. There's dirt in its mouth. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind been so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about again. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awakened. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember. We should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway look lo 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 looming nearby. <laughs> and just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? The only one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open my witch's eye. That's my favorite eye. 
Oh, there's a mushroom. Oh, and I can see where all the things to gather are. That's helpful. That is helpful. Oh, stone pillar. Its weakness is unveiling powder. Okay. So you need to make an unveiling powder. I learned powder. unveiling powder. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone. But they're too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of abyssal possession. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. <laughs> Alright, time to make some unveiling powder. I got everything I need. Everything you need. You got it. Time to unveil. Reveal! You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. The cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. It must have been written in that... in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable! What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came here to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Where's my shears? I love how fast she runs. Yeah, she's really tip, going tip, at tip, it. Tip, 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 tip. Where's my shears? Witch vision, activate. Oh, there's some, some a vine tangled ruin there. Where's my garden? Can you do anything with the goat? With the goat? Like pet it or inspect it. With the goat. I mean, the goat's like a person. I don't know. If okay, I was just curious. Doesn't want to be pet. I can push it. <laughs> can you shove it around. Eye on it? That's the goat. It'll help you out. Trust me. The greatest of all time. Let's check the map. We got any shears on here? Any shears? No. In the chest now? Ha ha ha! Reedy twine and a pair of shears! Might as well collect all those reeds. Oh, I'm gonna collect. I'm here to collect. Snip it. Give me the good stuff. And I can snip this open too. Snip Ooh. it. As you hack at the thick tangle of vines with your shears, the tendrils seem to double in density and threaten to swallow up the doorway no matter how hard you work. Where do you think you're going? You haven't forgotten about me again, have you? No, I'm just trying stuff out, dude. Calm down. There's more reeds! Yeah! Good reed cutting. Ran into the wall. Hello, goat. Oh, you tried to snip him. I did snip him. Oh, right. With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, oh, much better. Oh my! Were you always this grotesque, or is my memory failing me as well? Watch your tongue, or I'll give it a good snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Mm, yes. <clears throat> a space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's it calling the crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. With my witch's eye. 
blue feather, dog hair, frog slime, shiny stone. What's that to the right? Looks like a mushroom. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so. But feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See the gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. Can I get me one of these hag shrooms, though? I love the noise of the running. A little pitter patter. If I heard. Oh, there's something over here. Give me the seeker vine. I feel like I gotta check occasionally. They also, they got like little, little floaty things that float off. Oh, now I can break the vines. Snipping and tearing your shears make short work of the bramble. Into the darkness. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Let's get some ice cream. Nice. Time seems to flow backwards or maybe it speeds forwards. An oppressive star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Guys, I know that it's not actually pronounced brazier. It's a funny bit. Brazier. Brazier. Like the bra. Like the bra. Take me to the forest. It's pronounced brazier like Fraser. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Oh, they get birds. Oh, birds. I need their feathers. Can I have a feather? I gotta sneak up. We gotta go to one of their nests. I gotta sneak up. I love how this <laughs> game looks. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so bright. It's so three-dimensional, but also flat. Oh, there's like stuff up oh, there too. Oh, there's like little logs. Oh, oh there's something. This? Forest, Forest herb. herb. Gonna have to have a look around. Snip them. What's this? Oh, who's that? Twig. Oh, hello. It's Grendon. <laughs> yeah, let me need a hatchet for that. Wait, what's this thing? Oh, it's a return home hearth seed. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you started for me. Can't, see, can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tuft forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? You glance upward at the small bluebird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I haven't, sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. Alright, so I gotta look at these what animals. Was the, what was the log? What? Oh, you need the hatchet. Right, I'm sorry. I got it. You better check yourself next time. Take a look at this bird. A skittish songbird enjoys eating seeds. Weaknesses snap trap. Oh god. We won't kill it. I learned wicker work and snap trap. What do we need for the snap trap? Oh, look at all this. Oh, we can make the hearth seeds. I can seed. make hearth seeds. For snap trap, I need a wicker work and an imp eye nut. Oh, we could craft the wicker work. Yeah, here's the wicker work. We'll make one of those. 
And then we'll make a snap trap. And then... Should I just like set it anywhere? Does it need to be near to the bird, do you think? I don't want to waste my snap trap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh there's a squirrel. That's such a good squirrel. Oh, and a, a oh feller up there. This large I'm gonna put it here. Squirrels, squirrels coming for it. Oh no! I didn't expect it to obliterate the squirrel. <laughs> it absolutely chunked him. He was completely chunked. <gasps> Impi nut. Oh. <gasps> Who's that fella? We have so many fellas. Oh, is that the dog? I get the dog hair from that dog. Kilnman. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so they'll be a while still. Battery? Bah! I was just admiring that fine canine over there. You point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She's a touch body today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find something to calm her down. He's a thick ass farmer. I listen to him humming. Such a bassy voice. Yeah, in, in my left ear only. Oh, this dog mad. Oh, he coming. Oh, he's got little skulls over his head. Ah! Ah! That's a heart gone. <laughs> All right, I gotta calm the dog down with something. Uh, rat I gotta, chunks? I gotta learn by examining the dog. Soporific morsel. Okay. I gotta poison like... the dog. Yeah with sleep poison. Oh, I can make a soporific potion now. Oh, there's uh, the meat over there too. Yeah, it needs the potion and then the chunks. Well, we certainly got chunks. We blew up the rat. What do I need here? I need Jacob, left cap. Jacob, kill a dog here? No, I'm, it's soporific. It makes me go to sleep. Oh, okay. If Not you, like a forever If you knew sleep. your words. You're right. And I need a jar of water. A jar of water and two of these uh, left caps. So be it. I will do what, what I must. Forest herbs. Oh, well, that looks like a well, but there's no bucket. <laughs> oh man, oh geez, I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasures down there. And just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it's awful dark and damp. I got goosebumps just thinking about the all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Uh, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me, after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see all those ghoulies for yourself. I will take this trowel. Thank you, sir. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. Reedy twine! You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. It looks like there's some shiny... Oh, the, there's the reeds above him. Greedies. That you can cut. Snip! Snip! Give me the stuff. We need the stuff to make the trap. Going in the well. Goodbye! What's going on down here? Ooh! 
Ooh, coins. Coins! A trowel, you say? Hup. What is that? What is that rock? What rock? Is that just... Oh, yeah. this is a trowel rock. Okay. There's more clay. What's going on over here? Gimme. Ooh, shiny, shiny stone. stone. Another shiny stone. I love a shiny stone. We love a visit from a shiny stone. Yeah. Trezor. Locked. Locked. Gotta find the key. No, frog. A frog. I'll need a net. Well, I definitely don't have a net. There's a little creature in that hole. Ooh, His eyes. creature hole. Catch a net. Darkened nook. Mm. Shiny stone. All right, so I should be able to Ooh, fresh spring water. Oh. I can make a jar now too, I guess. Mm. Oh, I wonder if I look at this, will I learn how to make a key? No. You have two jars already. Oh, I do. Let's collect some water in these jars, and then catch a net. I don't know how to make the catching net. Mm. I thought I would learn by examining this. Hmm. Guess not. Maybe not yet. Guess I won't catch. Something stirs inside, but not does it emerge. Alright, well, I'll come back. I'll come back with my catching net. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that, Mr. Frog. I'll get you out of here. I'm bringing you out into the sunlight. Uh. Can we make a new trap yet? Yeah, I need to make a trap. A snap trap. Oh, we need a, a bundle thing. There we go. We've got plenty. Well, take a wicker work. Okay. And we're gonna make a snap trap. So I guess we should put it near where birds land. Maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna put it near the. I don't want the squirrel. Give me this imp eye nut. Oh, there's a bird. Okay. We're gonna okay. put it like yep. here. Place it. Oh, here he comes. Avert your gazes. You fool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it truly just splurts. In pieces. Okay, what do I need for my soporific? I need these mushrooms. Mm. Alright, we gotta go find some mushrooms. I like the little noises they make. Mm. No, don't go in the well. Don't you dare go in the well. Oh, there's a log thingy that you can't Can collect. I learn about a hatchet? No, don't know how to make that. Stick, though. We love stick. Stick we can make. Locked gate. Bars a witch's way. How dare you bar a witch's way? There's imp eye nut up there. <laughs> and I want it. There's like a house to the south. A south house? That you saw southeast. South house. South house. There's a south house. What is this? There's like a logging. Oh, maybe I can get an axe from over here somewhere. This guy's got an axe. A woodsman. Hey, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son supposed to help me, but he wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs and such, some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. Was that correct? Powerful? It's, uh... Like a regionalism. 
Oh, I like see. It'll make you powerful sleepy. All right. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense. Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stone. Here, my boy won't be missing his hatchet. Give me that hatchet. Let's go. Yeah! She's so Ooh, strong. Truth. She hits like one time anything. It looks like you can investigate that salt that's up there. What is oh, it? Oh, I can trowel it. Oh, you can trowel it. Oh. And get some campfire embers. A little campfire ember action. It's over here. Stick. Nice run around collecting things. I just keep looking at the different trees. This I game love is the beautiful. Trees. All right, I should be able to make the dog, the dog poison. <laughs> Let us craft our dog poison. Finally, we can poison a dog. Here I come. Eat it up, buddy. Yep. Whoa! That dog is asleep. We don't know how long it'll last. Snip. All Digging all the ashes. Good stuff. Oh, who's What's that? that? It would disintegrate in my hands. I'll need my net. Oh. I don't have a net. I'm missing all these fleas. They're like fleas or little spirited away spores. Yeah. Or like the little soot guys. Break into his home. Can I go in his home? I don't think so. No. Nah. Alright, now I just need frog slime. For which I will require... A net. A net. So I guess I'll follow the... Ro oh, there's a marker over here. That's probably where I need to go then, huh? Westward ho! Give me the sticks. Give me the twigs. Gonna run around spamming the button. Pick up anything I run across. There's a stick to your right, but we've gone past it. Oh, who's this? Oh! <laughs> she really doesn't mess around at all. Um, I was like, oh, a cute little baby. Crank. <laughs> I mean, I only did it because the witch said, get back here, I'll chop you good. Oh, but she's a witch! So I assume she wanted she to chop him. Rack a muffin. Oi, lady! What's with that great stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers, you pervert. Aw, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to rant trot Welcome to my life. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectually at wayward fireflies with a shoddy-looking bug net. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish, flailing about like that? Are you deaf? We frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of those fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? I'll let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. I'm realizing I was probably supposed to be British, but that's all right. Well, how about I give you the net and maybe catch me some fireflies? I love how his dad was like, my boy. My boy. He's out there catching frogs. He's and then his son little is little like, hi! Hey! The little pub he is. Maybe I'll think about training you for one of my froggies. Give me the net. Mm -hmm. I don't There's actually... There's a fairy over there. Can you capture her? Just! 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 Gotcha! She turned to dust. You captured the fairy and she turned to dust. Not my problem. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with, uh, with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. Er, I mean, the frogs can eat. 
Here you go, bud. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lads are gonna feast tonight. Now about our deal. You agreed to trade me one of your pets there. <laughs> what deal? I don't make it, remember making no deal. A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and flops down by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it. There goes Slippery Pete. He takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Aw, oh, shucks. I never liked him anyways. You can catch him. He's all yours. Catch him. Bang! Frog slime, blue feathers, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those brassiers. <laughs> I should head back home now. Oh, did we get sent people from Bo? Is did that what's we, happening? What? Hello, folks from Bo. Did we get a raid? Did we get a raid from Bo? If we did, my filter didn't tell me about it. Which, what else is freaking new? Tells you about all the stuff you don't want to know about. Yeah. If I could chop this bad boy. Something fierce. Oh. There's also a little... A little herb. A little herb. A little herbaceous herb. Oh, it wasn't an official raid. Okay. Okay, unofficial raid. Well, thank you anyway, Bo. I'm sorry we could not hang out more when you were in the city. It would have been nice. Yeah. But it was a... Uh... Well, it's also a weird you, feeling time. You got a table at Anime NYC. That is true. You did go, disappear. Had to go do your table. That's not on us. It's actually not our fault at all. It's not our fault. It's your fault. If anything, you should be sorry. You should be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you should apologize to us. I'm just kidding. It's all good. I don't even know if Bo's in here. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking to no one. Oh, goat! Blue feather. Dog hair. I'm not talking to you. Frog slime. I want this. We might need it when we're done. And my favorite shiny stone. The emerald flames of the braziers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch his fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madam. Let's go! Truly a miracle I can remember anyone's voice. You did ever. it. Ever. Oh, who's oh. this? Sleeping maiden with perfect makeup. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. The sound of cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. And quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I have the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorsteps and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until the contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binder, regardless of what you do. Do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls, and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be, be fulfilled. Sorry, I've turned into a goat halfway through. Bleh, bleh. Who knows? In time, you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or, you simply return to the comfort of your little father. 
where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. And your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. What have you done to me? I, I can't stay awake. I'm sleepy. I had but to do in the spleen. Oh, I had, I had but to do in the spleen. I'm awake. Got some soup. <clears throat> Nothing. All right, bye. To the outside. Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for, or will you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? All right, all right. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid. As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we see. The two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump, perhaps inside of a tree with a face, by an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like, a compass? But go out there and look for yourself. New chapter. The Sleeping Maiden. Messed up that we didn't heal that one heart in our sleep. Yeah, sleep, heal, heart. That's how it works. My shears for snippies, for snippy snippies. Snippy snippy. Make sure I don't miss any of the goods. You know I love the goods. You do, yes. Yes. Yes, yes the goods. Indeed. Indeed. Give me the mushroom. Hey, fuck you. I'm out. I don't need to go in here for any reason, I guess. Just a look at the lady. Let's take a look at this lady. Disney princess lady. Like this, she looks like a like Disney did, or someone did the Helena music video, but in Disney style. You're absolutely right. Anyway, so long and good night. What's the worst thing I could say? <laughs> Things are better if I stay. Alright, well I guess we're going back to the forest. Well, that goes against what the songs say. Do I have any more portals unlocked? No. I guess you gotta go for the forest ones first. Forest first. The bear in the forest. Where is bear? Where is bear? Give me this. A log? I don't think so. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. Can you make a potion to heal yet? Uh, yeah, oh, you, I can. You, you I can. can. It was the first thing you got, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to. I'll wow. do it. I'll do it when I have one heart left. Wow. I just thought. How much does it heal? If it heals, it heals depleted hearts. So it'd be a waste to use it on one heart. Right. I just thought we would get one ready. But oh, get one ready. Yeah, so that we can use it later. Now that's something to think about. There you go. Just in case you're like in the middle of fighting a bear and you got one health. In left. the middle of fighting a bear. What's going on over here? Lake Shore Path. You could be at the lake right now. Just a little bit further. Wow. All vacation. right, let's go. Vacation all I ever wanted. Vacation path to get away. What does the sound say? Lakeshore path. Oh. People are saying I'm quiet. It's because I'm like very far away from the microphone. And you're not talking very loudly tonight. Am I not? No. Mm. 
You're talking quieter than usual. No, oh, weird. You're kind of like this. You're kind of mm. talking like this level. Mm. Dingus! Oi, stop right where you are! Yeah, no one but soldiers are allowed in the Lakeshore camp. And you don't look like no soldier. Yeah, that's not a standard issue helmet. I just came to visit my, uh, son? I don't think so. The captain said no visitors, so buzz off. Yeah, unless you're the quartermaster. You ain't getting in. I said quartermaster like I was Vin Diesel. <laughs> you did. <laughs> hey, where is that nervous wreck anyway? He ought to be back with that shipment of honey bar now. Open my journal and review quest objectives. Very Alice in Wonderland, these two. New chapter, the bear. The bear. I like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay, so this one we're tracking right now. Great. So we're gonna leave. Can't do nothing. Give me this. All right, where are we headed? This way? Or is that just the portal? I think that's the portal. Find the quartermaster in the forest. Mm -hmm. At the southern edge of the forest. We gotta go down, down. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Give me this. That was the auto tune keyboard. <laughs> do, 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 do. Give me the stick. Don't give him the stick. Mushrooms? Stick. You thought you could hide it from me. <laughs> Never. Stick. Uh, bush. Oh, another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, impine nut. He loves a visit from the impine nut. <laughs> Stick. You thought you could oh. hide it from me. Oh no, it's just the woodsman. There's an impine nut to the south. Hold on, I gotta chop these logs. Oh, and if I shovel this um, stuff. Oh, you can use the net. I can use the net. Get ready. Soot Aww. sprite. Yeah, this is all soot sprites. That's cute. That's very cute. Very into that. Okay. Yeah! This hatchet might break this apart. My god. And by nut. Don't mind if I do. Empi nut. Empi nut. And what's this if not an empi nut? <laughs> oh, this must be <laughs> the lad. Oh, hello there. S sorry. I think I managed to get most of this d debris off the road. Looks like you made a fine wreck. What on earth happened to your cart? Yes, well, uh, y you see, I, I was sent on a very important mission by orders of my captain, the, 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 the bear. The bear, you say? What sort of mission? It's my job to make sure the lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions. But most importantly, a uh, steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. We got a first time chat from Silver Fickle who said hello everybody. And I felt like that was such a such a pure That was such a nice one. First time chat you that I had to stop say hello. to say hello to Silver Fickle. Hello. Hello Silver Fickle, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. I was just on my way back from the apiary with a cart full when a deer or something darted out of nowhere. I jostled my poor, poor mule so bad that she broke her bridle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my ribcage. Piled the darn cart right into the ditch she did. Now every barrel is s s smashed and I can't bring myself to report back empty handed. The bear will have my guts for garters, I'm sure of it. Guts for garters? This bear <laughs> sounds like quite a brute. 
Just 10 cents a day can support Guts for Garters. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, y you don't know the h half of it. If he can't get his honeymead, heads will roll. Maybe you lend me a hand? 1,000 children every year go without garters. Yeah, if I win today's cooking competition, I plan on donating <laughs> my $10,000 to Guts for Garters. Guts for Garters. It takes the guts um, of, of deceased bears and right. makes them into garters for kids. So many children don't know what it's like to have Guts for Garters. I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of the nature camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what happened. Maybe he'll get me out of this bind. You can get to the lakeshore camp if you follow the road to the northwest of here. Uh, I need to stay with the cart and assess the damages. Oh, dear. This is a fairy! What's going on over here? Fairy. There's a lot going on over here. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, there's those um things that you yeah. need for that recipe that we didn't know what they were. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just currently capturing Navi. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. Flower petals? Yeah. Did I need flower petals? There was a recipe that you had gotten that we needed flower petals for it. I don't even remember what the recipe was, but... I remember What's not the recognizing with the thing. this thing. What's the deal? A stylized image to flatter the self-proclaimed ruler of this region, commissioned by him, of course, and promptly forgotten. The stag. Can you look at your recipes for a second, please? Recipe piece. Your recipe piece. Oh, is it the homeward? Oh, this one, the heart yeah. seed. Okay. I was about to say homeward bone. The homeward bone. Uh, We've got the dark souls on the brain. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so I guess um, we're gonna go back to the lakeshore camp. Thank you to the very drunk person that just complimented me on Draw Tactics Episode 4. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, I appreciate you. It's a tipsy compliment, so you know it's legit. Yes. Because if they came in here tipsy and didn't like it, they would have told you that. Yeah. Ah! Give me that kind herb, please. Going back to the lake shore, baby. Imp I nut! Oh, she was about to grab something else. What are you gonna go grab? She just stopped moving. RIP. What's what's happened? She stopped moving. <laughs> she stopped moving. <laughs> Can you use the keyboard? Wait, no, that's Okay, she's back. Okay. She's back. She's We've, back. Uh, there's a controller dead zone over there. Calm down, everyone. She's back. <laughs> Didn't know what had happened to her. I thought she grabbed one too many imp eye nut. Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, no one but us soldiers are allowed to come inside the crew camp. Get out of my way. I have urgent news of your quartermaster. I need to speak with your sergeant. Urgent? Only thing that's urgent is the line of the train. Or oh, if the captain hasn't had his drink. That's right. Captain Bear is in a right foul mood. You can't come in unless you want a good thrashing. The guard almost has to shout over the clattering din coming from inside the camp. You heard him. It's dangerous in there. What? Wouldn't have the heart to let a frail old lady like you near that beast. One guard turns to the other with a conspiratorial shrug. Yeah, but who are we to say what's good for her health? Oh, yeah, you're right. We might be convinced to uh, look the other way if we were fairly compensated. Right, fairly compensated, of course. We'd be sticking our necks out after all. I happen to have three golden coins. How would you boys like three coins? Split that evenly between the two of you. You carefully press three heavy gold coins into the palm of the waiting guard. There, I expect you two could divide them evenly amongst yourselves. Right, one for you and two for me. What? You mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does the real guarding around here. 
You still owe me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated me. Give me them coins. The two guards fall into the fisticuffs and roll into the bushes, leaving the gate to the camp wide open. We did it, gamers. Yay. Uh, should we pause for a... Oh my god. That's I want a, him to say PJ. That's a real bear. PJ. PJ. Oh, I quite like that name. PJ. I don't understand what you're talking about. Robin Hood? Oh, I haven't seen that movie since I was a kid. The the king, he's the lion. Yeah, I don't remember anything about the movie. He gets kind of uh, drunk and someone calls him PJ. Yeah, I don't remember anything about the movie. Uh, oh, I'm just I'm telling you. Uh, PJ. We're going to run three minutes of ads. I like that name. Starting now. I'm sorry, I didn't remember anything about the movie. We should watch it. <laughs> it's real good. I just saw Ian in chat said movie night. Hell yes. We're going to have a Robin Hood movie night, Ian? Hell yes. PJ. Now that the holidays are over. I think that was actually my favorite Disney movie as a child. We were talking about the, talking about our favorite Disney movie. Yeah. I watched that one just so much as a kid. I had that. That was my movie that was on loop as a child. That one kind of missed me a bit. Well, it's I like, didn't have the hots for half the cast like the well, rest of maybe us. I would have if I had seen it, but I was too busy watching Peter Pan and then mm. watching Toy Story. We did watch Encanto, yes. Yes. It was super good. We really liked it. It was lovely. Yeah, it was a blast. It's beautiful colors. Oh my god, the art was stunning. The character design was... Mwah. Yeah, big, big kiss on oh. that one. Mm. Big chef's kiss. Mm. So good. Cheese Bucket said they had to keep pausing the first 10 minutes of the new Draw Tactics because they were laughing so much. Oh, good. I'm which glad. Which is uh, delightful to hear. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, I, it, it's like my favorite Draw Tactics moment was in episode four when a certain character shows up and uh, Karina just screams. In the room, she just screams. She screams so loud. I had to do so much audio adjustment to the scream to, In real life, to make I it jumped. palatable. She was that loud. It was. She was genuinely so excited. Yeah. And then the little animation of her like vibrating ah. was so good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm excited for the next episode. I think it's fun. I think it's stupid. It's a really, it's a real funny one. They're all really funny. It's a good series. Y'all do a good job. You do a good job. Thank you. Whatever happened to that game where you played as the little deer lad and it was like a storybook? That, that was game was a demo. a demo. Yeah. We said that whenever it comes out, we're going to play it because we had a great time with it. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah, we should look into that. Although, I think the team <clears throat> sent us the demo. Oh, I right? think they did, yeah. Yeah. It was like one of the few ones that we get sent that I was like, oh, actually, you do watch our streams. All right. Yeah. I'm into this. Yeah, it's not out yet. Beacon Pines. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yes, Beacon Pines. That was lovely. Uh, Ian apparently was an ad. But Ian, yes, movie night, if you didn't see that part. Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe we called out to you as soon as you got caught in the... Secret Sleepover Society ad experience. Yes. A special part of our stream where you make us money passively. Yeah. <laughs> by viewing advertisements. Yes. Someone said that the audio editing on Karina's scream was good because they didn't lose their hearing. <laughs> yeah. So good job, Jacob. Jacob does the audio edits for that, so. Thank you to Jacob. Um, for people who are saying that I, I didn't turn the game audio off, so you probably are hearing like weird noises right now. Gurgling. Along yeah. with the along with the thing. Also I'm drinking scotch, by the way. Yeah. What Some about somebody it? in chat said that uh, the pee I was drinking looked really cloudy and unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like unhealthy pee, yes. But it's not unhealthy pee. It's my witch's brew for this witchy stream. 
It's your witch's concoction, yes. How are we doing on ads? Done? Are we done so? We're done so. Let's get back into Witchwood. I'm liking this game a lot. This was good find. Yeah, it's one that's been on my wish list. I mean, it only came out last month, so it's pretty new. Yeah. But I should say it is available on like everything. It's on Switch. It's on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Excellent. So if you like it. A few people have picked it up while we were playing. Oh, that's great. I know this on here. If you like it, then um, pick it up on one of those places. What brand of scotch? It's a uh, Glenlivet 18. My most expensive bottle of scotch that I've been nursing for like a full year. Yeah, basically. All right, back to it. Unconscious soldier. The bear. A large ferocious soldier with many a self-aggrandizing story to tell. Blood. Blood. Why is there blood in this box? Blood. Oh, they g they gave you a health potion. They gave me a health potion. They're You're gonna like, have to fight. You about to have a boss fight, son. Are you gonna have to like use traps or something? Hello, Ms. Alia. Welcome. Oh, it's the bear. As you cautiously approach, the bear drains the last of his enormous tankard and smashes it against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the hapless man to the ground. And then I wallop him just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards in the tail, I'll skewer you like a fish and leave your guts for the gulls. Guts for garters? Guts for gulls? We got guts for everything in this game. Just ten cents a day. Suddenly noticing that his drink has gone dry, the bear bellows to the skies. More mead, you yellow-bellied worms! More drink! Bring me my delicious honey mead! Okay. Olive doesn't know that she wants to be. She's trying to let her in my leaving. lap if she wanted to. The soldiers taking cover nearby exchange nervous glances at each other, none wanting to confront the bear. There is no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool from his sagging lips and his bleary eyes slowly focus on you. A mocking smirk splits his face as he waves at you with his great spiked mace. Say, now that's a funny looking helmet, soldier. I ever tell you the time I crushed the bucket-headed barbarians of the western mountains? You decide that now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop in his war stories. The bear kicks an empty tankard at you as you retreat back into the camp. That's right! Go get me more mead! You good-for-nothing slaggard! Slaggard, huh? Can I, like, look around here? Yeah. Oh, there's, like, a little thing to the left there. Looks like a little distillery thing. Yeah. I just wanted to, uh, dig this out. Get the boy! <laughs> Got him. Bleh, 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 bleh. That's what the bear sounds like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Get him! Get him! The frenetic looking officer shouts hurried orders at whoever will listen, but most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering or knocked out cold. Man the gates! You over there! Secure the perimeter! We just need to hold out a little longer! Sir, we're running out of men! Where's that damn shipment of honey? You step over an unconscious footman to address the man in charge. I might be able to answer that question. Who the? Who let this old bat into the camp? I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of car trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? No, curse my rusty breeches. Without that honey and other supplies, we can't make the honey mead. The bear's gonna flatten the whole camp when he finds out. The camp looks half flattened already. What's all this ruckus about? Well, uh, the bear's the greatest warrior there ever was. Which is grand and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use us poor sods as playthings and to reenact his conquests. And the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. It goes us up so much honey me, we have to brew right here in the camp just to keep up. Points to a squat-looking device tucked near some tents, a portable brewery. Without that shipment of ingredients, I don't see how we can ever calm the bear down. 
real smashes to paste before the sun sets. Let me take a look at this brewery of yours. If the bear is so in love with brawling and boozing, then perhaps it's about time he received a dose of his own medicine. I'm gonna poison him. I'm gonna uh, poison the bear. I'm not gonna that out. Brewing equipment. Uh, oh, there's a chest to the left. You inspect the brass contraption, the tank here, a hopper there. The bitter smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite the needlessly complicated dials and tubing, at the end of the day, the brewery is really just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to concoct just the potion for your troubles. The rattled sergeant shrugs his shoulders at you. Sure, if you think it'll help. But you'll need to fuel the darn thing first. Our supplies are a mess, so you'll have to figure it out on your own. Damn, they got supply chain issues too. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. How difficult could it be? Oh, we need more jars of water. Why are we missing a jar of water? Well, that we can too. put in twigs. You snap kindling into pieces and scatter it into the bottom compartment of the brewery. Should be fuel enough for the job. I guess it was like you choose like different things. Mm. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. No, I need both. Okay. You need jars of waters and cinders boxes. All right. There's a chase to the left. A chase to the left. Meaty morsel. Take all of that stuff for sure. All right, let's take a look here. Cinder box I can make. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. You captured all those fairies. Rodent lard. Glad I have some rodent lard Oh, around. that's from the rat we yeah. exploded. It was a squirrel. A squirrel, you're right. Uh, now I just need jars of water, so I'll make five jars, I guess. Well, do you need that many? Did I need five or three? Well, because you have one, so you need four. I need four more, okay. I guess I'll go ahead and put in the cinder box. With the heat of a cinder box, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight. It will bring the tank to a roiling, rolling boil. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. All right, I need jars. Let's make as many jars as we can. One, two. I need more clay. clay. Oh, we need to go down the well again. We got everything else. Yeah, we'll go we fetch more cinder. clay. What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. Did you know that Long Island's number one export for a very long time was clay? I did not know that. Thank you for that piece of trivia. You're welcome. We got clay in Georgia too, you know. Red clay. We're known for it. I think Long Island's also good. We're known for it. New York City was built off of materials uh, harvested from Long Island. Rock streets well, of clay. you don't have the Georgia, the special Georgia red clay. It's You're special. Right. <laughs> You're right. I do that wrong every time. Hello, Miss Anya. Miss Anya. Miss, Miss Anya. Miss Anya. There's little things to check out everywhere. Okay, let's ask this a question. I looked at the place you New, go in my lap, Ms. New York City sold sand from. Is that the North Shore? No, what you is just that? want to jump down the other side. Like okay. Huntington? Not Huntington. What town is it? It was on North Shore, wasn't it? Wasn't it? There's a whole monument to the miners. All right, let's get some clay. May as well get that frog while we're here. Got him! Got him! Clay. Northport, thank you. Clay, clay, clay! There's frog! A really, there's a really good free tiny little park over by Northport that I used to go to all the time. I think I brought you there. Which one? Which one was it? 
the the poet's house. It was his vacation home, and then he donated oh, it. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, that one's lovely. It's next to the uh, Long Island Modern Art Museum or whatever it's called. All right, how many jars can we make? Two more? Absolutely. Now we just need to fill four jars. Oh, Chris is here as well. Chris is here as well? Chris, I didn't see what you wrote, but I did see that Ian uh, said good morning to you. Did you just wake up? What kind of life you living over there, Chris? I actually took a nap today. He did. Also, so I woke up at like five o'clock from that nap. He did. So I have no judgment I can do whatsoever. Uh, all right, back to the bear. And I'll take all the imp eye nut I can. Chris wants to know why she always gets that. <laughs> So what you do, you come onto the stream and we roast you. And we roast you immediately. Because of the good work that you did. <laughs> hey, you did excellent. You did excellent tattoo work and we really enjoyed hanging out with you and your cats were lovely. But also, why you just wake up? Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with that? We like you and respect you. But also? But also, eat shit. <laughs> Just kidding, Chris. Let's all hang out again soon. Yeah. <laughs> Chris apparently uh, made dinner and took a nap. That's a power move. I respect it. Sometimes I want to take a nap afterwards. It's a lot of work. Take a dinner. Give me these freaking little bugs. <laughs> she said, excuse me, I was playing Animal Crossing too. I've been meaning to get back into it, but by the time I'm done with work, all the stores are closed, and then there's no point if I can't shop. I've just been playing Final Fantasy XIV lately, which you two need to get back into so we can all play together. I was talking to Ian about this on Discord, but I'm saying it to you too. Jars of water. It looked like you could go in that tent to the right. I'm curious what you. Oh, what yeah? happens when you go in there. Yeah. With the hiss of steam and the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next step in the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. That quartermaster said he was coming back from the apiary. Oh, feels... you gave up the old lady boy. Oh, huh? I, I fucked up. I fucked up. Let me try again. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. That quartermaster said he was coming back from the apiary in the field, so I best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. The frothing basin of the brewery stands ready for the right ingredients. Honey, metamorphosis elixir, wow. and torn teddy bear. All right. Metamorphosis elixir. Ooh, you can go in the tent now because the guy's not blocking it anymore. Chris said, join our FC and we'll come back to play. I'll join your FC. Can is I join a... it from a different server? Can you join FCs across servers? Is that a soccer thing? Yeah, there's a lot of soccer in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, okay. It's a soccer-based yeah. video football game. Football club? I'll join your football club. It stands for free company? No, it stands for football club. What is that? Oh my gosh. Dryad fruit. Bug icker. Oh, we have a changeling root. That one was the, the little baby root. that was running away from us yeah. and we axed it. I murdered that baby. Go in the tent. Go in the tent. Through the open tent flap, you catch a glimpse of pillaged trinkets and treasures scattered about the spacious interior. You surmise that one of these precious objects might contain enough magical essence to use as a token of the bear. Your eyes have only a moment to linger upon the giant fur-lined bed before a hand pulls the door flap shut. The sergeant gives you a disapproving glare as he ushers you away. Hey, you can't go in there. This is the bear's personal tent. You know what kind of hell that would, that would break loose if he finds someone's been snooping? 
Don't worry, I'll be careful. Seems like your men are keeping him distracted anyway. You glance over at the bear as he tosses aside a soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way, no how. If you think this is bad, just wait until he finds out there's no more honey mead. <laughs> if you're so afraid of that stomping brute, why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it would prolong your life a little. And abandon all my friends. We're, we soldiers gotta stick together. It's our only chance. If only there were some way to stand up to the bear. A thought seems to cross the sergeant's mind as he notices the potions and baubles hanging about your belt. Say, you're good with magical doodads and what's its right. If you made some sort of protective charm or talisman. And then I could maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head shoved in. It says stoved in. Stoved in. Don't you hate it when your head gets stoved in? I, th I think what I said makes more sense. If I make you a protective talisman, will you let me into this tent? I suppose I wouldn't have much to worry about if you did. Protective talisman, huh? All right. Uh, oh! Thank you to our wonderful mod, Jamie, as always, for linking Chris's Instagram. Yes, thank you, Jamie. I want a tattoo from Chris. Get one, then. I just gotta think. What are you waiting which for? Which one? I have to have like a better idea of the design before I go in there. Oh, I gotta get more dog hair. Oh, you, you gotta knock out the I dog I gotta again. get more freaking dog hair. My god. Two wicker work. Okay. So be it. I will do what I must. Um, okay, what's my goal right now? to get some dog hair, but I don't know where to get like the dragonfly wings that I needed for. Well, there's a whole part of the map that we haven't this. looked at yet, I don't think. What is that? Oh, jar of milk. Meal. All right, I guess I'll go to the fields and we'll see what's going on over there. But first, give me that. All right, let me check my map here. Because there was some stuff going on over here. What is this? In the care of the leech. Oh. Oh, that's the swamp. Right. Swamper. There's something going on up here with the snake. And then bear stuff is down here. I guess I'll continue on the path of the bear here and go down to the fields. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Um, speaking about Final Fantasy XIV, though, I think I'm going to do another stream tomorrow. A Final Fantasy XIV stream to continue with uh, Pepperoni's special adventure. Pepperoni's run. Um, so that'll probably be around 3 tomorrow if I, if I do that. This is also me letting the mods know that I'm probably going to do that. Draz will be asleep. But hopefully. that's my plan right now. So if you're around at that time and want to watch that stream, that's probably what I'll be doing. Draz, go to sleep. Draz to sleep. Draz to sleep. Last time the Final Fantasy stream was very chill. That's true. So any mods that can't make it, no pressure. Also, I can be around. I, I want to be doing my speed draw tomorrow, but... You, well, know, I can also mod. you don't need to mod. I'm saying I can get by modless if I have to. I can mod myself. I'll just ban anyone who frustrates me. <laughs> Instantly. Governed with an iron fist. <laughs> Killing them on the spot. Oh my god! Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Vegetal farmer. A hefty gourd stands before you, wiping beads of dew off his bumpy forehead. He tilts up the brim of his hat and greets you with what you interpret as a smile. Vel welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How's it growing, farmer? Oh, you know, not so bad. Trying my best to win the harvest competitions this year. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be a shoe in for the blue ribbon. You would think so, wouldn't you? But every year, without fail, that sour ox takes the prize. 
No matter how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his crops. Careful now, you're beginning to sound like a sore loser. Ja, ja, not a sore loser. I just think it's quite suspicious, don't you? Last year, the ox and his family grew the largest corn cobs I've ever seen. I was only barely able to get second place because of my own little helpers. He motions to animated turnips and potatoes, busy with menial farm work. But this year, his crops are larger than ever before, even so his family is nowhere to be seen. It doesn't make any sense to me. He's working the field. <clears throat> He's working the fields all by himself? What happened to his family? That's the fishy part. No one knows. They just disappeared one day. Oh, they're the fertilizer. And the ox has said nothing. Hmm, that does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Yeah, yeah, his farm is down in the southwest. You can't miss it. I must get back to work. Veggies won't grow themselves, you know. The ox. The ox is up to something. Yeah, the ox has definitely killed his family. And the ox has definitely <laughs> killed. Hey! Chop him! Chop him! I got two over. Dark. Hey! Get back here, baby. All babies must perish. I'll take the clay, thank you very much. Oh, can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? It's can not, I have this? It's not doing its little sparklies. Oh, that's his special cabbage. Yeah, please don't take it. You I can't take his special to... cabbage. Oh my god, bird. I will make a trap for you if you act this way. Well, you'll be dead in one. Yeah, I can't remember shit. If you're made out of meat chunks. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme the goods, please. Gimme the goods, please. Yeah, you better fly away. Alright, let's check the map. Every time. It's like I got bad brains. Alright, honey's that way. Honey's to the west. I will follow the sweet aroma of honey. No, hey, who are you? That? Who are you? Perhaps I can puzzle him somehow? Dazzle him. Puzzle him? Where's he going? Whoa! That's one way to puzzle him. Is that puzzling him? I snipped him. It's puzzle pieces. I'm just gonna harvest a little bit of your uh, Who's that? your grain. Is he trying to kill the birds? What are you doing, man? Good day to you. Just out here doing his thing, I guess. I wonder if there's like a different way you can interact with uh, the gnomes. Frog! That's not a frog. That's a grasshopper. Oh, grasshopper. Sorry. Because I feel like I didn't... Turkey. Turkey. What's the proper method of handling turkeys? Digestive, Digestive tablets? tablets? Wow. Make them poop themselves. To death? Oh god, they get pissed. Lazy grass. That's my kind of grass. You know what I'm saying? The apiary. Hey! Get back here! Julia only likes the productive grass. <laughs> yes. Tea. <laughs> Caffeinated tea. Caffeinated tea. Ooh. Oh, I love this beekeeper. Idaho, I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed? But I need some of your honey right away. I'm sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago. Funny little man with cards, you just missed him. Yes, I've met him. He's the quartermaster for the bear, but he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the lakeshore camp. The bear? Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much. I heard the lumbering bully would steal the nectar from a larva if it suit him. My poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order. They don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something to help you, but... The only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty? 
my my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, get on with it. My beloved queen, she's as lovely as she is wise and resides over her flower kingdom. A shrill voice pierces the meadow and sends chills down your spine. Oh, Slay! oh my god. <laughs> 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 that made me jump and probably everyone with headphones. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I'm not going to continue doing that voice. Do you want me to continue? Where is my dinner? I order you to bring me the finest sunflowers. That's a good voice. Right away, my love. And make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasp. Y yes, my sweet. Hmm, I think I'd better have an audience with this queen myself. There's no way I'm gonna be able to maintain that queen voice. Yeah, that's a very good voice. That's gonna harm me if I do it again. Yeah. Where's the queen? Oh my god, there's so oh, many bees. Oh, that's the queen. Hey, oh, hey, they got red oh, eyes. hey. All these bees have red eyes. Yeah, oh, these bees that? are freaking Petal? pissed. <laughs> Everyone is so mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> Ian said, sorry boss, can't come into work. I was deafened by the queen voice. <laughs> Fair enough. It was funny. It was funny. The regal insect looks down her curled nose at you scornfully. You're gonna have to do the bee. Uh, that fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the ramble of trampling my delicate garden. Good help is so hard to find, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to lend a hand? No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy woman, so I won't waste your time. I need honey, your best honey. She tilts her long neck back and lets out a buzzing laugh. Ah, do you think I simply give my carefully cultivated riches to just any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this colony? Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to do the work for it. In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My sweetheart, my darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this, is this a miracle? You wax-brained fool. You know I despise the stuff. How many times must I repeat to myself? Get out of my sight, all of you. My love, I have wronged you. Let, let, let me try again. You follow the beekeeper a short distance away while he busies himself picking more flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes. But it's really, usually my own fault. Sometimes when she gets really, when... Burp. Sometimes when she really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her right down. <laughs> smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. Royal incense recipe. I'm about to royally incense this bitch. I'll be taking these flower petals. Don't get stung. These bees don't have don't get stung what by it the takes bees that she's got. to sting me. She's still, she's still. Can I just like catch him in a net? Queen bee of the block. No, I can't. Well, what's this? A flower petal. All right, let's see. We need uh, the drugs. What, is, what do we need here? We need some smoke pellet, which I can make. Do it. Burp. We need some witch spice, witch which spice I can make. Need. Nice, Julia. Yeah. Good joke. Hell yeah. And a soporific potion, which I'm missing. Frickin' water. It's always water with these people. 
My God, I have a jar, but no water in it. In it? Where's the closest water? Do I need to go all the way back to the well? Can you just go to like the river that's on the side here? I mean, he probably has a source of water. He's a farmer. I didn't see any water in there. Did you? Oh, there's a river over there. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. We're in agreement. Turkey, chill out. Whoa. Whoa okay. We'll just head on down to the river. Get pip. Can I not? Ian, are you streaming after this? Or are you just hanging out? Because if you stream and you let us know. I've told Ian, I said we'll raid. If you stream, we raid. You stream, we raid. Can I do it off the bridge? <laughs> There's something over here. Why is this water illegal? What is this government owned water? Guess I'll go back to the well. Really? Right. That water's government owned. Mm. <laughs> go all the way back. Oh, there it is. It's not as far as I thought. Yeah, you were going past it. <laughs> it's non-potable, but the freaking wall water from the well is potable. The nasty wall water. At least I can harvest all this shit while I'm down here. That's true. Oh, apparently you can get them from the pumps that they're in the fields in that area. Oh, the pumps. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Are you glad you helped, Jeffrey? Yeah, are you too glad you spoke out, Jeffrey? E-N. E-N. <laughs> E-N. E-N. Are you stream N? He left. He got sick of your shit. Wow. Cruel. I can collect some water with a jar. Shut up. I've gotten what I need from here. Rupee Rain has a very nice, wholesome first time message. Of oh, a I'm glad you made it to a live stream. Welcome. Jeffrey. Thanks for joining. Jeffrey. Thanks, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Give me that stick. He was too busy petting the cats. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that is pretty fair, actually. That is fair. Your cats are adorable. Too busy petting the cats to reply. Now he's in my room. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> are you watching the streams independently? I still have the picture of your two cats just in like a little ball on top of each other on top of you, and it's very Their cute. Their cats are so cute and so sweet. It's a little cat file. They're so big compared to ours. Right, yeah. Olive? You're a tiny girl. She's napping on the Okay. She's opened her eyes to look at me a little bit. Here we go. Soporific. Brief. And now, Royal Incense. Okay. And now, it royal? that it puts queens to sleep. Oh, damn. Ignite! Ow. Ignite! Are you asleep? You sneak! Do you honestly believe that your little puff of <laughs> smoke can... can... The queen fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull all around her. Ooh. Does anybody else here feel a little hot? Anyway, as I was saying, you just can't... you just... The sparkling sun oh. bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all those beautiful colors. Am I always been so bright? Chris, you took Arthas to the vet today. Why? Is Arthas okay? Is Arthas okay? I hope all is good with the kitties. The queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. 
She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling about her head. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh, and what's that delicious smell? Cracking into the waxen halls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Oh, delectable. Oh, it's so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I have never tasted this in my life. She offers up a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen. Got him. Got him. Can you do anything with those downed bees? Can you, can you net those? Oh. No, it doesn't look like it. I can shove him around. <laughs> Ian is not streaming tonight. Well, then we won't raid you. Then we won't raid you. It's as simple as that. How you doing, bro? Oh, you're, you've you concerned yourself with the floral arrangement. I understand. Well, because he's dating someone kind of abusive. Yeah. He's in an abusive bee-lationship. Hey! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't make, don't date someone who makes the faults your fault. Makes the faults your fault. Makes their faults your fault. Make the fault your fault. The well, fault I wouldn't be such a jerk if the you in our fault. didn't make me. That one, that kind of thing. There's a secret in the hay bale. There's a secret in the. And I'm tired of pretending like there's not. You know what the secret is? What? Gnome! Gnome! This one gets the axe. Okay. Oh no, I guess I can only... Can you trap them with a the net? Snip them. Oh. Snip them for their little hats. Well, do you want to know what the secret is? What's the secret? When you're at Applebee's, you're not actually family. What? Are they allowed to lie like that? False advertising, I know. Upon closer inspection, this mountain of hay appears to have been deliberately woven into an intricate wickerwork structure. Wicker you carefully pluck a single piece of straw from its center, and the whole bundle begins to swirl and unravel till a gaping vortex opens before you. A shadowed way? Nobody told me there'd be a shadowed way in this hay! Let's go. Ooh! Oh. Unlocked another shortcut. It's a shortcut. What a treat. What a treat. What what a treat. I came back here to just collect of the collect of the ingredients that grow at my home. Your cats get fresh chicken and rice three times a day? Where's Joy? I hope she's not here to hear this. Fresh chicken and rice three times a day. Yeah, they don't. Our cats don't get that. Is no. that why your cats are so big compared to ours? Because our little itty bitty girls. Oh, Olive's leaving. She heard it. Oh no. Oh no, she heard it. She's going to go tell Joy. Olive Come was here. listening. Come here. Oh no, she's going. She's going to tell Joy. Come here. It's supposed to be four times a day. What? What kind of cats? <laughs> My God. We would be healthier if I'm we grabbing, ate like that. I'm grabbing Olive. You want to show off Miss Olive? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Can you go on camera? Yes. This is our little baby. There's Olive. She's a tiny girl. See? She's so little she's and she big. doesn't want to be here right now. But she is precious. Here's her little face. Do you feel an emote in your face? Yeah. More like Smoliv. <laughs> You're not wrong. Not wrong. The girls are tiny. She's the <clears throat> bigger one. Yeah, Joy's even smaller. Joy's smaller than Olive. Joy, uh, Olive is our, our perfect, our perfect little girl. Yes. All right, where's the freaking ox? Down here? Joy is great, but a little goblin. 
Let me out. I'm stuck in the fence. Oh, hey, can I get milk off of you, dude? A jar. Oh. That's like a real Yoshi's Island noise. It really is. It's like a, a slow elongation of the tongue. Well, it's like when you aim the... Oh, yeah. Aim your eggs. You're right. There's a cool looking rooster in there. Look at this farmer. Hey, bud. Can I, oh, this is oh, where you get the yeah. water from. Is that a little a baby you're gonna have to kill? Gah! Oh my god. Favorite part of my day. Know him! Know him? I hardly know him. No, I can't catch him. You can only chop him. Snippers only. You can only cut him. Look at all these chickums. Oh, they're weak to interact. Oh, they give it, ah. they give egg. They give egg when I smack them. That's how you get eggs from a chicken, right? Yeah. What about the rooster? What's your deal? Nothing. What was this? Open topped barrel. Did it say temporary storage? These are for temporary storage, not as much for retention. All right, where's the freaking ox? Our cats are also around seven pounds. Hey. Get your ass back here. Right, Miss Abby, if you're about seven pounds? Yeah. When she was sick and dying, she was uh, a little under six pounds, I think? It's the ox! The cheating ox! Who buries his family in the yard. Is that a penis sword? Oh, he's there? got a dog. Hey. Deserves a treat. A soporific morsel. Oh my god. That's no treat. <laughs> this dog's not even angry. Why can't I just trim his fur? He's a cute dog. I like his little black legs. Looks like he's wearing little stockings. Why do I have to drug every dog I come across to get what I need? Get back here. Every dog that I've ever had, other than Scout, has hated going to the vet so much that we probably should have drugged the other ones. Oh, of course I don't have any water. <laughs> This is becoming well, this is a, farm. a consistent a problem. Thing. Does he have a water spurter? Water spurter, huh? Scarecrow. I don't think he does. You would think he does. But I don't think he does. I, he's got it. He's a farmer. I guess I should eat one of these. Yeah, where's this hydration station? Oh, did oh we, we got a raid. Ishness raided us. Thank you for Thank the raid. Thank you so much for the raid. And these very scary emotes. <laughs> very scary emotes. I feel like I'm being haunted. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Ishness. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. This guy has to have a hydration station, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, oh, I bet that's a baby, a fake baby. Yeah, it's moving a lot. Get ready. Yep. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Chop that baby up good. I was waiting for you, fake baby. I love how flat the house is. Mm -hmm. No hydration station? He doesn't have a hydration station. I guess I'll just talk to him while I'm here. He's so thumpy. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing trespassing on my land? Why, well, I just came to admire the glow of your crops, Master Ox. I heard you produce the most bountiful produce in the land. Ah, oh, well, you heard right. I work day in and day out till my hands are raw, my back is broken, but you won't find a finer farm anywhere else. You're sure to take first prize at the Harvest Festival again. You and your family must be so proud. The ox spits on the tilled soil. Ha, those lazy louts never understood the pride and joy of devoting oneself to the land. What good's a family that gripes about hard labor? 
We'd have never won any of those competitions if it wasn't for my sacrifice. Where is your family then? I can't help but notice you're working all by yourself. If you must know, those damnable bandits out by the South Bridge stormed in the place one night and stole them away. Bandits? You don't seem very concerned about getting them back. Ha, oh, I'm here. better off. For all I know, they could already been ransomed off for fertilizer. But if you're so worried, why don't you go talk to those bloody brigands yourself? Now get your big nose off my fields, or I'll toss you in the compost heap. How do you know I have a big nose? I'm wearing a pot on my head. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know you shit about my, my nose. nose. Talking out your ass. Hello, me. Hi, you. Miss Olive, why do you stretch every time you step, basically? Feels like any time she does like a slightly larger than normal step, she stretches. I know you have bad knees, but come on. She likes to stretch. Alright, where's that pump? It's like right around here. Is it to the, it's to the left? Yeah. Was it in this field? Was there one in this field? I'm pushing the travel button! Oh, there's the gnome. Snip them! It's in here, isn't it? I think it's in here. Yeah. Oh, that's right a there. baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's ah! a baby. When the moon hits your eye like a baby, that's a baby. Nice pump. It'd be a shame if someone were to take all your water out of it. That's how pumps work, yeah. Just give me like a few. And we'll take, uh. Take two jars of water. It takes stomp. three jars of water. Big stomp for that. Oh, that man was getting stuck on a little chick. You don't worry about what he's doing. He's living his truth. Cosmic Cuttlefish, first time chat, says, I love this game. I'm really enjoying it too so far. Yeah, it's great. Wait, where's that cow? Hey, bud. Thank you. Mail. Alright, time to go poison this guy's dog. Uh,. You know that milk bar that's in um, Majora's Mask? Yeah. It's like the most uncomfortable I've been as a child playing a video game at that point. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It like was so, like even my child brain was like, oh, everyone here is getting drunk because the world's ending. Yeah, I mean, that is that is true. And it made me very like deeply sad and uncomfortable. <laughs> Go to sleep. Give me your hair. Can you snip him again? Nah, I think you can snip him again. Okay. He only has one snip's worth of hair. That's just Majora's Mask, yeah. Well, yeah. The whole game is people being incredibly messed up because the world is ending. But very specifically, the milk bar really freaked me out. Yeah. I remember the part with, like, the sword master guy, where, like, on the third day, you can find him, like, hiding in a secret room in the back. Just, oh, like, yeah. panicking. What a messed up game. Yeah, it really is. I love that game. And then the aliens come and steal all the cows the out of the field. Aliens steal all the cows out of the field. And they abduct Marin. That's right. If you don't save her. And then on the third day, she's, like, brain dead. Like, she can, right. no, she can no longer, like, do anything. Ooh. Yeah, that game is... That game is dark. That game is dark. Um, what am I doing right now? Oh, investigating the bandit camp. Which is... Which is where? Oh, it must be right here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let me take a peek at these bandits. Weakness, dreadful doll. Oh, great. Oh, they hate the dreadful doll. Oh. Oh, how they hate it. Oh, how they hate the doll make a sewing kit now. What's that? Skeeter Snoot? <laughs> Excuse me? You can't say that. Don't say Skeeter Snoot to me. You can't. That's illegal. We're, we're live streaming. You can't say Skeeter Snoot to me. All right. I guess I'll go, I'll go peek into the swamp as like the last little bit of the stream. How about that? A little swamp peek? Mm-hmm. 
We'll do a quick speed run through the forest. Mm-hmm. Because I want to see if I can snag a Skeeter Snoot. Yeah. Uh, but first I have to find a Skeeter with an appropriate Snoot. You must take his Snoot. I must take his Snoot. Oh, the angry dog. Where was the Swampy Swamp? Up here? Near... What's the... I always forget the names of it. What's the Near game that I was playing last time? Replicant. Replicant, thank you. Because the other one I have on my phone. And it also starts with an R, so of course my brain's just like... That one's like... Oh! oh! What the heck? Oh, he coming. He mad. Got I'm sorry, dude. Over his head. I didn't mean it. Who the hell what is that? Is, who are you? What's going on up here? Why is everyone so angry? Anyway, that one is also about the world kind of ending. Well, humanity ending. The world will continue, but humanity ends. And it's all these people being sad, and you trying to save your sister because there's so few people, and you love your sister. Yo, is you that a skeeter? That's a skeeter. Smoke pellet and a hatchet. hatchet. Can I make a smoke pellet? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm gonna get this dude's snoot. I'm gonna get your snoot, bro. This all of so cute. Smoke him. Smoke him. Get the snoot. Oh my god. What's that? Oh. oh, I got a snoot. Blood. Oh, there's leeches. This place is horrible. We're getting out of here. It's beautiful, though. Her snoot, big skeeters are female. You don't know about these skeeters. You don't know about these skeeters. You don't know about these skeeters or their snooters. Did you ask these skeeters? Uh, what time is it? It's time to end the stream. It's time to end the stream, Jacob. My goodness gracious. My oh my. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, like I said earlier, I'm probably going to stream some Final Fantasy XIV on that new character I was playing last time, Pepper Ronnie, mm -hmm. um, at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So if you're around at that time, feel free to join in and watch, or if you're on the server, which I believe was Bryn Hilder. Feel free to hop on and, and play. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can get high enough level to uh, do a dungeon or something we can run. But yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. And other than that... Should we raid um, both Jessica and Charlotte or something? Do you want to raid? We could raid Charlotte sure. or Jessica. Jessica's drawing. <laughs> I don't know. Up to you. You Where tell you me. Want. You tell me. Let's raid Jessica. We haven't raided her in a while. Alright, what? Well, she's Team Jacob? Yes. With an underscore? Yes. Are there any caps? No. Alright, we're gonna raid our friend Jessica. Apparently she's drawing right now. She's wonderful. We've raided her before. Go check her out. And have a nice rest of your evening. Goodbye, we'll everybody. See you tomorrow, probably. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. I think Olive knows when we sign off now. <laughs> <laughs>